Now, a family day out at a theme park can be stressful at the best of times, even more so for families living with autism. Tato Park have decided to have an autism-friendly day on the 12th of May, and we popped down to have a little preview. Let's have a look. For families living with autism, everyday life can be a challenge. Even a simple visit to a theme park can be too overwhelming. That's why Tato Park has become one of the many companies across the country to have an autism friendly day. I'm here to take a preview. Athboy Autism Support Group and Talent Parents Autism Support Group joined us this morning as they enjoyed all the rides. So as the families enjoy the boat ride, I catch up with mums, Natasha and Jer. So Jer, you have three children, all with autism. Yeah. What is everyday life like for you? It can be very hard. Um, just to come out for family days can be extremely hard for, for us as a family. Um, because coming to places like this, it can be very overwhelming with noise, with lights, with crowds of people. A lot of children have sensory overload and so they process things differently. Uh, sounds would be, they would hear it um, a lot louder than we would and it becomes very overwhelming. And it can lead to meltdowns um, and they become very upset. So it's very important that we have somewhere to come that it's a calm, relaxing place where they can also have fun. And what about your son, Jack? He's 16, he's a teenager. Yeah. Is it important for him to be able to come to these things to feel like every other kid? Yes, yes. It's great when they come as a group because they support each other. And if one is feeling a little bit nervous, they'll say, no, come on, come on, and they'll encourage them. So they, they build up their, each other's confidence um, coming together as a group. Next up is the driving school. This should be fun. Riding along in my automobile My baby beside me at the wheel I have two children who, on, who have autism. Um, Jason is eight years old and Ella is five. Um, Jason is diagnosed, actually they're both diagnosed at, at three years old, so we're kind of a, a long time kind of within kind of the autism community. And your little boy came to Taylor Park once before. It didn't go so well, but today he's having a great time on the car. He's having a ball, like, you know, <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Like, um, I think the first time going anywhere can always be a bit, bit difficult. And, you know, it does help today that, you know, the music is turned off. Um, it's a lot quieter, um, so you know you, you do try to um, make allowances for kids who are, do have autism. Try and come on quieter days, or come to days where you know it, it, uh, there are kind of allowances made for kids on the spectrum. So how did this come about? Well, Tato Park General Manager Charles Coyle told me. Well. It started because a huge amount of our season pass holders and indeed guests coming here had additional needs and we wanted to do something that would be good to get everyone to enjoy their day in Tater Park more. I mean some can't queue, some have restricted uh, access uh, requirements and things like that. So we said what can we do to make things a little bit more easy for people coming to the park and this was one of the first things that we thought of you know. It'll be just like every other day in Tate Park because we don't want to make things hugely different. But there will be certain things that will change, such as we won't have the hand dryers on in the bathrooms and things like that. We'll also uh, turn off the music all around the park and we'll try and restrict certain um, things that will give people sort of uh, a sensory uh, overload, you know, like such as TVs off in certain places. You'll be able to download your social story for the day. So that gives people the ability to prepare for their day in Tata Park so they'll know to go, that they, what is going to happen on, say, the power surge or the roller coaster and all the other rides like that, including such as the carousel and things like that. Now, one of my favourite animals is a lemur. So when I heard that we were going to get up close and personal, I couldn't wait. Then around, oh, ooby -doo. Jack and Amy are great friends and loved the day. Uh, I'm 16. I'm 16 as well. Yeah. And would these kind of places normally be uncomfortable for you to be in? Well, I think when I was younger, I was kind of a lot more scared of just like 
animals in general and being up close to them, but we're all around them now, so we're... Yeah, there's a lot of bother on you. It's like a lemur fat. Pretty yeah, much, right. 10 centimetres on top of you. And yeah. you're fine with it. Yeah, I like these places now, it's good. Yeah. And uh, what's one thing that you would wish people would know about autism or people with autism? Um, that they're normal people. It's just kind of certain things can agitate them. Mm. There's nothing kind of to, that makes them any different. Yeah, I think we're pretty much the same as most people. Like we, we still have our groups of friends. We still yeah. stand up for each other, and we're pretty much act as we want to be like the rest of the world. Pretty much, yeah. at least that's what I say. We all want to blend in. We all want to have the groups. So we try our best, and that's all people, people need to know. Is we want to be like them. And they can help us. Tato Park welcomes all families on the 12th of May. Lovely idea. Now, coming up after the break, stylist Marietta Doran will have three more stylish looks for the spring-summer. We'll see you very soon.